Well, happy Mardi Gras, everybody. We're here on a Saturday night as we kick off Caesar 24. My name is Jim Hanzo. It's a pleasure to be out here. We've got a windy night, but they say the winds may die down, and we're looking forward to just a great parade. With me, it's indeed an honor to have a man who literally bleeds purple, green, and gold. I'm talking about Jefferson Parish Councilman and a captain, Captain Ed Munez. Well, it's a pleasure to be here, Jim, for the 22nd straight year for me. And we've had all kinds of weather. Tonight is uh, pretty good compared to a lot that we've put up with in the past. A little bit brisk, but uh, all in all, a beautiful night. The, the rain has moved on to the east. And Caesar's going to have a great parade tonight to the theme of Do You Believe? They're going to be talking about everything from the Saints winning the Super Bowl, which is hard to believe, all the way to the St. George and a Dragon and a Theory of Evolution and 28 or 29 floats and all. Uh, 700 members riding on the floats. Uh, some of the most beautiful costumes that, that have ever been made will be on the streets tonight. And I see it down that the parade is now on Severn. It'll be turning on the veterans in just a few minutes. And it'll be time for Mardi Gras 2003 to get started in earnest. I can't wait for this. This is going to be a lot of fun. They tell me you catch a lot of beads up here. Well, I don't know. Not only do you catch a lot of beads, but you get hit by a lot of beads. <laughs> There's certain parts of your body that's not that you, other than your hands are catching the beads. But uh, they, they're very generous in this crew. And uh, they throw a lot. That's one reason why the crowds are out tonight. And you know, Mardi Gras was supposed to begin last night, but because of the inclement weather, it, it started off late, but they had a good day today. A lot of the parades rolled, and the big parade on the first Saturday of Mardi Gras is Caesar. And we can see down the street that they are rolling, and they're rolling in front of a large crowd. So they'll be in just a few minutes. Well, we're looking forward to just a great parade from the captain and uh, the 700-plus seven, members in the uh, crew of Caesar, 24. Well, Jim, the parade has reached us here at uh, Veterans and Causeway, right across from Lakeside Mall. And we see the lead units now going by. We've seen the 92.3, the point unit, go by a minute ago. We led the parade. Now we see the uh, city of Gonzales Monet Posse. Well, it's a windy night out here for a parade. They say it's going to die down. And we certainly uh, think it will later on. But the crowds are out in full force. That's yeah. a good thing. We just saw Treasure Mermaid go by, and she said she's heading for deeper water. <laughs> but now we're watching the uh, Captain Vernon Gotro and his group from uh, the city of Gonzales, so organized in uh, 1974, and these 20 commissioned deputies of the uh, cities assist the city in law enforcement and crowd control during festivals, parades, and sporting events. Here come the Clydesdales. Yeah, here come the, uh, the we've seen the uh, Forehead Grotto Buck pat Patrol and the uh, clowns, they've already gone by. And uh, the clown unit. And now we're seeing the world famous Budweiser Clydesdales. Here they are. Those are beautiful horses. And you know, they must be a gelding at least three years old. They must stand about 72 inches at the shoulder when finally, when finally mature weigh between 1,800 and 2,300 pounds. And they've got a crew up there on top, too. Look at this. These yeah, guys are having a ball. And the Dalmatians are up there. And they've traveled with the hitch since the 1950s. In the early days of the uh, of brewing, Dalmatians were bred and trained to protect the horses and guard the wagon when the driver went inside to make deliveries. That one Dalmatian looks like he's, he's had enough of the parade for tonight. You can see him right in front, the uh, right, right between the driver oh, yeah, and the passenger he's, he's there. Oh yeah, for a warm spot. They're beautiful horses. Each harness and collar weighs 130 pounds. The entire set of eight is valued at more than seventy thousand dollars. Float number two, Grand Marshal the Wild Thornberries. Now, I know your grandkids probably watch these. Yeah, this year we're proud to have as our grand marshals the wild thornbirds of television and movie fame. Eliza, the 12-year-old who can talk to the animals, and Donnie, the thornberry's four-year-old adopted wild child, have joined us tonight. The wild thornberries as on Nickelodeon Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 to 7.30. Wild thornberries, here they come. One of the real highlights of Mardi Gras the captain of Caesar, Mr. Bobby Cornisi. The captain represents magic and wizardry. His elaborate collar features a wizard with his magical crystal ball, along with the neon fire-breathing dragon and a jewel-encrusted castle. His cape features the wizard as a central motif. And as usual, the captain's costuming is by Shirley and Anthony Colombo and Sherry Gio, 
from right down the street in St. Bernard Parish. Look at that outfit, boy. That is beautiful. Every year it gets... This is Bobby's 24th year in this crew. And prior to that, he was very active in other crews. And it's one of the real highlights of the Mardi Gras season. Now he's going to greet his wife, Sylvia, his children, and now his grandchildren. He'll be toasting with uh, Councilman Gambaluka, Parish President Coulon. And he'll be receiving a plaque and a proclamation from Jefferson Parish Council, which, by the way, passed 7 nothing. Jefferson Parish Council, the Parish President, and all your loyal subjects, we welcome you to Metairie, Louisiana. He's enjoying himself. Have a great ride. That's quite an undertaking to put up. Hail Caesar. Put a parade like this thank on. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Campbelluca. On behalf of the entire crew, I wish to welcome everybody here tonight. We're a little on the windy side, but we're doing well. And let me propose a toast to my wife, Sylvia, to my daughter, Robin, my daughter-in-law, Jan, my grandchildren, Trey, Austin, and, and Julia, and all my friends and relatives, thank you very much. To my Queens family, to Morels, Teddy, all, of you, all the family, and to my king, he is fantastic. He, wait till you see this guy, Dynamite. So we were, we're all excited, and thank you very much. The Colombo family, where are they? All right. Fantastic job. Thank you so much for all these beautiful costumes. And uh, be prepared. They got some magnificent floats coming. Thank you so much, and have a happy Mardi Gras. Happy Mardi Gras. Hail the season. Happy Mardi Gras to you, Captain. Caesar. That man loves this, doesn't he? He lives for it all year long, and I mean, uh, he'll work on this 52 weeks out of the year, and uh, that's what makes good carnival crews. And this is a very elaborate float he's riding, a very elaborate costume. He told me he got this, this crew started one night during a jazz basketball game in the uh, 70s. They each put up $100, him and about four other guys, and he started, and it just it grew from there. And who would have thought 24 years later we'd have the Hornets <laughs> doing a good job? Yeah. Basketball returns to the city, of course. Look at that costume. And the lighted horse, which just passed us, Bobby Cornisi, I think he's going to be about 38 years old. Hey, year. Captain. All right, here comes your Archbishop Rummel High School marching band. It's those Raiders. Yeah, and, a, and the band director is uh, Glenn, Glenn Sherman. The instructors are Kerry Cohn and Ryan Benoit of uh, Benoit. Principal is Dave Harden. The Rumble Band program is a co-educational organization with the Archbishop Chappelle High School. The band will travel to perform at Disney World on March 7th, 2003. One of the best bands from Jefferson Parish. Yep. Hailing right out of Mentory. I know three girls that graduated from Chappelle. And all three of them in the stands right now watching the parade with their future Chappelle brood. Dan, I'll say that about him.
Rumble High School marching band and Chappelle right along with them. Captain, here comes some more of the floats here comes, we can uh, expect. float number four, the officers of Caesar. Two Roman soldiers are doing the front of this float, which holds the officers of the crew of Caesar, the guys that do the work all year long to make this parade possible. The shield is on the sides of the float, a highlighted multicolored rope light. The president this year is Michael Beecher. Hail Caesar! These are the guys that do the grunt work for Mr. Bob, isn't it? Oh, sure there is. Yeah. And many of them have been with Bobby for years and years. That's why it clicks. Everything clicks so well. Ladies and gentlemen, in a large organization like this, moving along, do a tremendous job during the whole of the year so that we can have this tremendous parade. Well, you can't miss this float coming with those two soldiers on the front. They work hard, what, 365 days a year? And but it might take a week off after Cornel. <laughs> after Mardi Gras, and then they get ready they're for gonna, They're going to enjoy themselves tonight. They're not feeling that wind either. Now, you better get ready, Mr. Hanzo, because you're about to get hit. <laughs> I've got my bags. I'm sitting on my bags right now. I know, but you better wait to open those up. You're in for a treat. By the time you leave here at night, you're going to have more beads and beads about a dozen and X and an X put together. I'm feeling like a big kid. <laughs> look at him. Look at that. Look at, look at what's coming off that float. They're already looking up here. See where we at. <laughs> they're stopping almost directly in front of us right now. Well, they stopped in front of the, uh, the, the Caesar reviewing stand here. Yeah, Mrs. Cornisi and Robin and uh, the children on, on all the awesome wires. And there's Bobby's son-in-law for the front, I think. No, he's further back. You see us now, Bobby. Here we go, There Bobby. it is. <laughs> uh, for the first year, Caesar's proud to announce the Princess of Caesar as a prelude to the arrival of our emperor. Our princes are Zachary Bro, Thomas Capitano III, Travis Capitano, David Devon Jr. Gage. That's uh, Gage Eminez. Gage Eminez, Hispanic guy. Gino Gio, I know him, Gino Gio. Houston Hall, Daniel Jones, Victor LaRocca, David Mayer. I know Chase Zachary McDonnell, Bro. And Brandon Nahaus, Michael Truxillo Jr., and Joshua Wells, the princes of Caesar leading the Emperor Caesar for the 24th year, James Patrick Friedman. Is your Imperial Sovereign, Emperor Caesar, 24, representing the archangels that guard all of mankind. Keep it with our theme, Do You Believe? Now get a look at his shoulder piece featuring two archangels highlighted with white neon lighting and a large rhinestone encrusted cross in the center. 
This is gorgeous. Yeah, and the opera was selected by Blonde Draw at the Coronation Ball just the, just last week, I believe, too. No, it's been a while. Uh, at last week, did the uh, court presentation. Yeah. This year's emperor is a charter the member of the season, right up in 24th year. Is something? And he's about to uh, receive a flag from the parish and in return toast the parish council and the Jefferson president. Parish. And commanding Ashley Michelle Morrell as empress and James Patrick Friedman as emperor and recognizing the crew's contribution to the parish. Hail to, the, to Caesar. Hail Caesar. Hail the emperor. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Gambaluka. I want to thank everybody for being here tonight. Uh, you all just cannot imagine how much fun this is for me. I know it's fun for you. I want to thank Ms. Carnese and her husband, Bob, our captain, for all that they've done for me and for this crew. Uh, I want to thank all of the parish officials for uh, getting this going and uh, allowing us on the streets tonight. I'd like to thank uh, my empress and her court, but most of all, I'd like to thank my wife of 30 years for just putting up with me and allowing me to have the fun I'm having. Uh, one other thing, I have my mom here, mother. Peter Pan's not growing up. <laughs> uh, one other thing, uh, I'd like all of you all to understand it. We're on Veterans Highway and right behind us is the memorial for Korea. We really need to thank those guys and gals that are over in uh, Saudi Arabia and every place over in the Middle East that allow us to have the freedom to enjoy this kind of uh, evening. And last but not least, I got my daughter and my daughter's daughter. Uh, she, she was born in a in Houston, but she's got great roots. She's got uh, a, a mom and pop that went to uh, LSU, and we have a special gift for her, just to let her know that she's going to be a tiger one day. Chuck, you got to get in. Columbo's put some work into that, don't they, Edmund? Boy, the Columbo's, uh, do a that's pieces. the only one that can make costumes like the Columbo's. They're, they're just fabulous. And, they, and they're so dedicated, and they, they, uh, they, the work comes from their heart. And uh, they, they write from the metropolitan area. They, they live in Chalmette. And uh, it's a year-round vocation with them. And I, not in many ways, a God-given talent. Yeah, well, they have rooms designed just for these wonderful headpieces. And rows and rows for the crews that they do for. This is one of their uh, big parades, the crew of Caesar. And there goes James Patrick Friedman. Empress Caesar 24, Ashley Michelle Morell. The daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Theodore August Morell, Her Royal Majesty. Ms. Morell depicts angels. A shoulder piece featuring two large angels in their flowing heavenly gowns highlighted with neon. Wow. Her collar surrounded uh, with white Fantasia plumes. And her dress is made of beautiful white lace accented with the Austrian rhinestones. Ms. Morell is a uh, sophomore at the University of New Orleans. She's beautiful. And her princesses tonight are Jennifer Boudreau, Rebecca Crawford, Jacqueline Gilmore, Faith Goodman, Courtney Hembert, Catherine LaRocca, Alyssa LaCour, Elizabeth Montaldo, Pearson Summers, and Erica Wells, and now the Queen, uh, Her Majesty, rather, with those uh, subjects here at Causeway and Veterans. Councilman Gambaluka will perform the toast.
welcome you. I have a resolution declaring Saturday, February 22nd, 2003, as crew of Caesar Day in Jefferson Parish, and commending Ashley Michelle Morell as Empress and James Patrick Freeman as Empress, and recognizing the crew's contribution to the parish. Hail to the Empress. Hail the Empress. The Columbos have created another beautiful costume for the crew of season. First of all, I just want to, I hope everyone's having a great time. I know we are, half of them are already out of doubloons. Um, first, I'd like to thank Jefferson Parish. And I'd like to thank the crew of Caesar for a great parade that they're going to put on for y'all. I want to thank the Columbos for some great costumes. They outdo themselves every year. For Captain Bob and Miss Sylvia, I've been with you since I was a princess. You're like family to me. Robin was my queen. Um, I just want y'all to know how much I appreciate everything y'all have done for me. It wouldn't be the same without y'all. Um, to my family and friends who are very supportive right now, my grandmothers, for my mom and dad, Ted and Barbara Morell. I just want to thank y'all for everything. Without y'all, I wouldn't be here right now. This is an experience of a lifetime, and I just want y'all to know how much I love y'all. And for my Aunt Jocelyn and Uncle Mike, my Uncle Mike's on another float right now. Um, I just want you to know that I love you too. Y'all have been through it with us this whole entire time. Princess, maid, and now Empress. Um, I just want everybody to know that I'm very grateful to have everyone by my side, and I love you all. Quite a moment for that young lady. She is all smiles up there. A night she'll long remember. Ashley Michelle Morell. Hail the Emperor! Hail the crew! Hail Caesar! And and her ride will continue. Our empress this evening are princesses to the empress. And they are Jennifer. But look at those beautiful future queens down there. Faith Goodman, Courtney Hipper, Catherine LaRocca, Alyssa LaCour, Elizabeth Montalvo. You know, Jim, we're going to have to check with those weather people who told us that by <laughs> 8 o'clock, which is 45 minutes ago, this wind would stop and it'd become a warm, empress not warm, but not a cold night. Yep. Michelle it's Morrell. still. It proves that weather is not an exact science. Wait till you get a load of salt. Oh, look, here they are. Yeah, they are now. Miss Monahan represents childhood fantasies. A show piece features all the things children believe in. The tooth fairy, the Easter Bunny, Santa Claus, and a stalk delivering babies. Neil and highlights our entire show piece. Miss Monahan is a junior at Archbishop Chappelle High School. Now Ms. Demartini representing unicorns, two large unicorns decorated with the sequins and the rhinestones, along with the colorful flowers, the central figures on the shoulder piece. The unicorns, these unicorns are highlighted with neon lighting. Ms. Demartini is a senior at St. Petersburg High School. She's in Florida. Okay, now right behind uh, Look at these colors. float number seven, here's float number eight with, uh, let's see, that's Mage uh, Casey Patiglia and Lauren Guthans. This Patiglia represents the luck of the Irish. Leprechauns and lucky four-leaf clovers are featured on a shoulder piece as well as a neon rainbow with a pot of gold at the end. This Patiglia is a freshman at LSU. Ms. Guthans representing the wonders of Arabia flying carpets and Aladdin's magic lamp. Her shoulder piece featuring the Taj Mahal, lit with colorful neon 
and Aladdin with his magic carpet. Ms. Govins attends LSU also. These are beautiful. And you can see the pretty neon and uh, all the colors and all the turkey wolf and ostrich plumes and Ms. Ms. also represents voodoo. Various aspects of voodoo queen's practices are featured on a shoulder piece. Neon lighting highlights her color. The salsa is a senior at Archbishop Chappelle High School. And Catherine Norman representing love at first sight. That mysterious matchmaker Cupid is the central figure on a shoulder piece, as well as several neon hearts. The eternal symbol of love. Ms. Norman, a senior at LSU. And they'll be followed by the final maids floats. The final set of maids. Or float number 10 is Leslie LeBlanc and Michelle Rees. Ms. LeBlanc represents fairy tales. It showed peace features backdrops of so many popular fairy tales. A castle which is beautifully adorned with sequins and rhinestones. All right. Because here's float number 11, the title float, Do You Believe? The crew of Caesar chose Do You Believe as a theme of this year's parade. The theme float features a bust of Julius Caesar. Neon columns adorn the sides of the float along with the theme of the parade, highlighted with special lighting in the peak of the Roman temple. The float lieutenant is Mike Hill. You know, a special thanks tonight to American Bearing Supply, the Treasure Chest Casino, Crescent Distributing, and Enterprise Runner Corp for sponsoring this broadcast this evening, which will be shown twice. The final time will be on Mardi Gras evening. Thanks also to Shirley and uh, Mr. Tony Colombo and Sherry Geo for the fabulous court costumes. We talked about them earlier. The Frisbees won't hurt. The big beads will. the days when they used to throw the uh, little rice beads. Yeah, I remember you used to throw the Czech beads too, from Czechoslovakia, and they were made out of glass and a break. Yeah. All right, Jim, be careful now. Here they come. Do you believe? Here it comes. They're throwing the packs at us. Yep. Throw me, uh, throw me one of them, uh, what do you call them, uh, pies? Moon pies. Moon pies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Hey, guys. Here we go. <laughs> All right, Do you Andrew believe? Jackson, fundamental magnet high school then, hailing out of Shalmet. My goodness, all the way from Shalmet, the uh, week. Andrew Jackson band going by to stand now. Now it'll be followed by float number 12 in just a minute. Well, they've got the hats on. They're going to keep themselves warm tonight. The tune I've heard at a parade or two. Jackson Colonels. You know, at one time that was an all-girls school. I think you come from those parts, don't you? I think so. I think Jim so. Hanzo. I remember. Irish. I remember in high school ride to AJ. See if any of the girls want, needed a ride home. Fine band behind them. All right, here 
right, here you go. The Lost City of Atlantis, float number 12. Neptune wielding his powerful trident overlooks the crowd from the front of this float, which representing represents one of the most popular legends of all time, the Lost City of Atlantis. Float lieutenants are Stephen Stanley and Buddy LaRocca. And they're packing them on, too. Well, I think Caesar's membership is somewhere between seven and 800 now. And they uh, throw them with both hands now, so be careful. Look at that guy, he just threw a handful of pearls, man. And I understand he bought them at uh, Oak Point Hot, right before the parade tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful blue costumes they have there. All right, now be careful, because here they come. <laughs> They're looking right. Look, uh, look at this. They got us. Look there they go. That. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> I told you to watch it. Oh. All right, float number 13. St. George and the Dragon. St. George atop this his powerful steeds slaying the dreaded dragons as a central figure on this float. The float lieutenants on St. George and Dragon, float number 13, are Guy Bourgeois and Jack Jansen. Look at that Fleur de Lee coming down the street. Looks like the Saints is emblem on St. George and the Dragon. And also the emblem of the city of New Orleans. Now, how many riders you think are on each one of these floats? I would say they got at least 50 on St. George and Dragon. That's a beautiful prop with the lights uh, shining like they are. And I'm going to put my strip down here for one minute. Well, you better because it's coming up fast. That's good. It'll pass fast. <laughs> By the time they spot us, they'll be gone. Look at these guys. Look at them. Oh, they, look at them. They turn around, man. They, they, they know we're here. Hey, throw me something. Oh, come one. on, man. Let us have it. Ho, ho, ho. Throw me something. Yeah. Come on up here. All right. Thank you, guys. Very generous. Oh, Thank generous. You. Yes. Back Very on, generous. Very generous. Uh, I'm not getting the script back. Grace King High is coming up. And the band director there is Lewis Jackson. And principal Alex Tiliakos. Grace King Band has consistently achieved superior ratings in marching, jazz, and concert bands. And uh, the next float right after Grace King will mark the midway point in the parade. The parade has been passing now for probably close to an hour. And we're only halfway. And this... Uh, Float number 14 is called Ghost, and a ghost is rising from the tombstones that overlooks the front of the float. A graveyard scene is featured along with the side of the float, along the side of the float, and the float lieutenant is Donald Puix. Float number 14, there Ghost. Comes. And these props are very exquisite. They're beautiful uh, floats. They got another big crew along. All these floats are double deckers and long floats. And they are throwing like mad. And the people are enjoying the parade. And there's quite a crowd out tonight, especially when you consider that it's much colder than we all thought it would be. I'm glad I saw up a Hardy at 5 o'clock tonight who was on an uptown parade route saying that it was much colder than he thought. At that point, I decided to bring my overcoat. So I want to say a special thank you for all the holiday. Well, it's not so much the temperature. It's the wind. Just that wind. But it's a beautiful night. A beautiful night for free. Rest in peace. 
Weatherman still says it's going to die down, the wind. And it has a bit. Well, I know for you and I, it'll die down about an hour until we'll be able to Now, look at this. Walk. Look at he's holding up. He's holding up <laughs> my wife's underwear. How did he get that? Oh, shame on you. Shame <laughs> oh, on you. Oh, oh, watch out, Jim. Watch wow, out, watch out. Look at that. <laughs> hey. Here comes float number 15, evolution. And the theory of evolution is examined by the next float, which features a large skull on the front. The float lieutenants are Lyle Lambert and Sal Gambino. I see my good friend Ronnie Lamarck right across the street singing his lovely wife. And they're singing to the music of that band that went by. You know, Ronnie's quite an accomplished singer. He sounds just a little bit uh, better than Dr. John. I'm going to tell you how far I can remember this. I think in high school, he had a band that helped pretty much mimic the Beatles. Yeah, he and, he and, and, the, uh, the, uh, and he played with them. He I'm and uh, Aaron Bruce saw sing together from time to time. <laughs> There's Ronnie. Look, you see Ronnie on TV right now? There he is. And Natasha. Lovely wife. You know, Ronnie's biggest problem is he's very backward. He's uh, the guy that, you know, stays in the background. He never says very much. I'll tell you, he's in the background right now. They've got a number of kids in front of him. And he's from St. Bernard Parish, too. Or well, maybe from the Night Ward. Here comes evolution. Now, here they come again. Now, Jim, have you learned yet that you better keep your eyes open? And oh, don't you worry. All right, here comes Ed. Float number 16, witches. Large witch overlooking the crowd from the front of this next float, representing the longtime belief of witchcraft. Witchcraft. The uh, float lieutenants are A. Allen Haley and Michael James. You know, better late than never, but we promised a good friend of ours, Mr. Terry Rodriguez, the council clerk, that when 12 passed, we salute Allen, Chick, and the Piazza Boys. And guess what? We <laughs> forgot. Fast. But better late than never, guys. Hope you enjoyed your ride. Here comes float number 16, Witches. <laughs> and they're looking for us, Jim. Here they come. Yo, uh, Look at these big. <laughs> All right, here comes the Lost City of Gold, float number 17. And uh, this float represents the Lost City of Gold. A large golden idol overlooks the crowd from the front of this tandem float. Not only is this a double-decker, but it's, it's a tandem float, which means two floats meshed into one. Yeah, look at the it. Float look at the front of this, too. Henry Neelig, Ben Lampo, and Gary Helfrich. And you're going to get all kind of action now because this float's got to have over 100 people on it. So be careful, Mr. Jim. Now, for anybody that's ever ridden in the Mardi Gras parade, when you first get on the floats, you, you're packed in. You're standing on beads, and you're standing on tons and tons of stuff. But as time goes on and you're throwing, like these guys are throwing, you give yourself a little room. So this is this is 100 people on this float. Look Tons of bees. Look at this. Oh, they he's are looking having for fun. Look at this. Oh, he's already. <laughs> he's saying, watch out, guys. Come on, man. Throw it up here. Let's go. Don't. Uh... Well, there we go. There we go. Let's see us. There goes the microphone. There yeah. it goes. <laughs> Hail Caesar. Oh. Hey, he's going guy throwing coconuts up there, it looks like. <laughs> hey, guy, you're a week early. Look at him. You're a week early with that <laughs> coconut. <laughs> All right, from Destrehan High School, Air Force Junior ROTC, instructors Lieutenant Colonel Chuck Milkey, Senior Master Sergeant Washington. <laughs> Uh, the Destrehan High School Air Force Junior ROTC recognized as an outstanding unit with over 250 cadets. Tonight's presentation, including the color guard, an armed and unarmed drill team, as well as a regulation flight. Cadets from this unit have earned over a million dollars in scholarships each year. Been doing this for the past five years. Earning those uh, scholarships. Thanks for being in our parade.
teaching these young men and women a little discipline for later on in life, I suppose. All right, Jim, coming up next is the abominable snowman. And I guarantee he's right at home tonight on Veterans Boulevard. After Destrehan High School goes by, we'll be seeing float number 18. And that's one of the most infamous legends of all time. There it is. The Bonneville Snowman is the title of our next float. The big white guy himself is in a central figure on the front of the float. The float lieutenants are Alexander Dupuy Jr. and John Holt. Hey, that's my buddy. I Alex know his is brother my buddy. No. I know his brother No. No Holt. You know? <laughs> See if I can find Alex on this float. <laughs> I know he's got his three kids in the stands. Alex, Brenton, and my little girl's boyfriend, Chandler. Oh, my future grandson-in-law. <laughs> we talking four years old here. Yeah. So I'd have to be. Lovely I, wife, Nancy I'd have too. to be in my 80s to be around for that one. That may come before you know it. Don't rush it. <laughs> no, don't rush it. You're right. All right. That's him right there. I see him. Oh, he's throwing those. Here comes the abominable snowman. Out. Float number 18. In the crew of season. The things your hands on when the deep did it. Boy, here comes a great This is float. a fine parade. The dinosaurs, float number 19, a huge long necked dinosaur looms over the crowd from the front of the tandem float. Another tandem float, the eternal questions posed by this float. What do you believe killed all the dinosaurs? The float lieutenant saw John Ladd and James Rosado. And again, this is one of those tandem floats. It's really two floats meshed together. So we've got another 100 members right here on this float. I remember when a crew that had 200 people with a large crew. And now he has two floats carrying 100 each. And has 28 floats in this parade. So you can tell that Caesar is a very popular crew. It's a colorful float, too. Here they come again. Imagine the money look, these look, guys wait, put look, out. Look, they spot us for the guys on the other side. Look, watch out. The money they put out for throws for one day a year. Here you go. All right, guys, go it easy. <laughs> hey. hey. Y'all got to win season. with you. You got to win. You don't have to throw it that hard. Throw me something, Oh, it's a bag full. All right, here comes the second part of the tandem float. And they got the win on their side, too. They don't have to. You guys are looking good. Come on, man. Looking good. There you go. We got some cups. Oh, here oh. we go. Here we go. <laughs> Happy Mardi Gras. I took my breath away. Your your Archbishop Blank, band director Bridget Dickerson, principal is David Pooley. Archbishop Blank located out in Gretna. It's an all-girl Catholic school, recognized Blue Ribbon School of Excellence. The unit consisting of cheerleaders, marching team, the 2002 Dance America Grand National Champions, the Blank Dance Team. All three teams are coached by Marina Lenham and Bridget Dickerson. You know, a few years ago, you and I would have had a problem with the next float. Float number 20 is magic. <laughs> that used to be how big competitive, you remember? A couple of radio guys, yeah. But now magic's all right. <laughs> it's a magical parade, I know that. Float number 20. Here it is. Uh, this float represents magic. A magician stands tall on, on this float, getting ready to pull something out of his magic hat. 
The float lieutenant is Harry Glidden. Boy, to think it in other parts of the country, it's just an ordinary Saturday just a night. It's regular Saturday night. And we got about what? Uh, let's see, about 11 or 12 days of this, right? It's just At least 11 getting started. Days, yeah. But it starts off with a bang out here in Jefferson Parish, one of the finest parades of the Mardi Gras season. And again, season's not any different this year. They, they just first class from A to Z. And that float features the uh, mascots of the New Orleans Zephyrs. Look at him. His wife, Botille, the famous Nutrias. It's hard to believe that this team has been playing in New Orleans now for over 10 years. And a couple of championships. Right. Oh, they're doing great. Disease. A couple of championships. I spent a lot of nights catching disease. Prophecies. Next float representing prophecies that have been made by soothsayer since the beginning of time. Wise old prophet is the central figure on the front of this float. Bobby Temple is the float lieutenant. He's here now, so be hey, Bobby. Keep your eyes open. Here you go. Come on, Bobby. Add throw all us. Your Come fruit. on, man. Throw us something. There you go, Jim. You got it. All right, now. Uh, uh, <laughs> if you're standing anywhere near this stand, you probably have 35,000 gross of pizza already. And um, everybody's okay up here? We haven't, ha haven't had any casualties yet, have we? All right, 22 is back in rotation. Of course, we won't get here for a while yet because we got the uh, dance connection coming up first under the uh, direction of uh, Robbie Ganeshow. The Dance Connection the Special Events Dance Team, they are celebrating their 24th anniversary. They're just the same age as Caesar. And they've participated in the World of Wheel Car Show, World's Fair, Mardi Gras Parades, and Carnival Balls. The Dance Connection. Good job, young ladies. I don't think I'd want to be in those hot pants tonight, though. Well, teach his own. Nah, they're not feeling I'm it. not quite sure what unit this is coming up because we know 22 we'll get earlier tonight had a uh, slight uh, problem down on um, Waverly, I think, Waverly and Veterans. This might not be 22. And First no off, this it, is uh, your Naval Reserve recruiting director, Valerie yeah, Pallard. So, all right, Paris. so 22 is uh, not in its proper order tonight. 22 will be coming in a little while. They're rolling again, but they're not going to be in a proper sequence. Yeah. So I guess number, so we're going to give you flow yeah. 23. 23 is the devil. Man, we don't want no part of this guy. Man, I can see him coming out of the street right now. And uh, uh, he's a hellish, hellish one himself. Oh, huh? man, he is a hellish, too. And uh, the front of this float depicts the devil. The lieutenant is John Hildebrand, who's a real angel, but he's tonight masking like a devil. Come the devil. We're gonna get the devil out of here right now. He's going by, and he's got his arms cocked, and I mean he's throwing. <laughs> and, he, and one of these things could actually beat the hell out of you. Come on, let's go. Come hey, on, throw man. Me throw something, mister. Come on, throw me something, man. Don't throw wave. me something. Hit away, caught nothing all night. Oh, we got it now. <laughs> Come on, devil. <laughs> all right, oh, that's a football, football, and uh, here's a man throwing a hand. Oh my God. The devil's doing all right. The devil's, the devil's got his just due. Now he's going to throw us a big handful of pearls. All right, the Dominators dance. Lori Veens, Carrie Fine, your directors. Giving the crowd a treat. Sucker, there 
is no other. I'm the one and only dominator. Now everybody dance. Now everybody dance. Good thing about being right here, Ed, is everybody performs. That's right, boy. What a place to catch a Mardi Gras parade. And we got to give our uh, congratulations tonight uh, and know the job that Henry Drapani's doing. He's been out in the street all night working Director hard. Director of special events. Uh, walking up now on Veterans Boulevard, making sure everything's in, in order. And I know he was telling me earlier that I'm proud of you of this crew because of the show they put on and also because of the way they cooperate with the parish. Well, we wish his wife well. She's yeah, in the yeah, hospital. She, she fell out and hurt herself, but she's getting better. And this is Henry's big time of the year. Does a great job, too. Yeah, doing his son-in-law, Doug, Doug uh, Christian, doing some announcing. All right, now my 24. wife is telling me to look at some of these young ladies, and I don't know why. She's telling me, obviously, we know one. Here comes float number 24, the Loch Ness Monster. Has anyone ever really seen the Loch, Loch Ness Monster? This is the question which the next float poses with our rendition of the monster overlooking the crowd. The float lieutenants are Robert Anzalone and Louis Frost, whose brother Jack is out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Tori and uh, Jamie and Erica are uh, going to be satisfied with the haul we made tonight? I think they'll be quite satisfied so far. It's like Darryl might want to buy them. You know how tight he is. You know, watch what he, what he offers you for. They're going to have a room full of beads tonight. A Loch Ness Monster. Beautiful float, by the way. Look at that prop. All right, we're up here. Got their American flags All right, on the Jim, front, there's too. A there's a football. Oh, come on, man. Oh. Ah, yeah, yeah. He looked like Aaron Brooks. Sign me up. He missed the whole booth. <laughs> and the crew costumes tonight on these beautiful floats are designed by Susie Deneu and executed by Karen Massett. Thanks to them for an outstanding job because the crew costumes have been simply beautiful tonight. Well, here comes float 25, astrology. Many people will open a newspaper every morning to read what the stars have in store for them. Astrology is uh, is the theme of our next float featuring Aries the Ram as the central figure and the float lieutenant for this is Hank Doyle. is right up against those stands. So they're shaking hands and passing out their throws. We're going to get bombed here. What's new? We've been bombed worse than Iraq's about to get bombed. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Look at this, a whole handful. Thank oh, you, thank you. Head, huh, Jim? Thank you. I'm okay. Those headphones protected me. They don't look to see if you if you're looking at you. They just throw. Thank you, guys. The Boogalee Rebels. How you like that, man? The Boogalees are even here tonight. The Boogalee Jazz Band. Go ahead, Boogalee. What's the Boogalee? You know. <laughs> A man used to call me that when I was young. Boogalee. And float number 26, extraterrestrial life. E.T. central figure on the front of this float, representing extraterrestrial life and the float lieutenants are Carrie Ober, Jr. and Rick Saucier. Carrie Uber, and that's Mr. Bobby Cornix's son-in-law, Uber who's married to Rob in the form of Queen. Good job, Carrie. Got your crew in line.
Hail Caesar. Here we go, Bob. He must have told him to throw a lot. Yeah. <laughs> look, look at these. Look, look at these bees. They throw a lot of this. Where's Kerry? I don't see Kerry down there. Boat number 20, a voodoo doll. 27. Voodoo, a common feature in many places throughout Great New Orleans. Voodoo sits high atop the front of the float. The float will turn to Eric Rosinski and Brian Landry. Load number 27, Voodoo. That's a good looking float, man. And look at these costumes. Me. Susie Anu did a great job of designing these costumes. All right, Jim. <laughs> All right, Jim. <laughs> Holy <laughs> mackerel. <laughs> Grigory. All right, here's the float that didn't make it in the proper rotation. This is float number 22 following the last float. But I guess now you can say 22 did become the last float. And, and that's the Easter Parade. <laughs> and the, uh, let's see if I can take you to float lieutenant, sir, on that float number 22. Yeah, the, uh, one of every child's favorites, the Easter Bunny sits on a huge basket of his Easter treats on the front of this float. The float lieutenants are Robert Meehan and Brian DeLeo. And uh, they're behind the last float, which says C in 2004. So, uh, but thank God they made it and no one was uh, had any problems. And this is the float that's bringing up the rear with another great Caesar Parade. Uh, very generous crew, very beautiful floats. Well, they've outdone themselves. And uh, they just loaded down with people on the floats, the generous riders. <laughs> Bob Carnesi and his lovely wife Sylvia have done a fine job. The Caesar 24. Carnival 2003. <laughs> now his ride is over, huh, Edmund? What's that? Would you say Bob Carnese, the captain's ride oh, is I over? I think he's now? It's pretty close to the end. Watch out now, here comes a handful of pearls. Just what we need <laughs> at this point. 40,000 more pair of beads. Ah, oh, man. Man, heavy beads. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right, now, Jim, this is the stuff that made it. There's at least 10 times this that it went over the booth, around the booth, below the booth, below heaven knows where. And uh, this is the remnants of Caesar. Now, we've got to pick all this up. Well, we're going to get uh, David and Erica and Tori and Jamie to come pick this up. But, oh, uh, and Marge. With that. But this has been a, a, a great parade. I mean, a, a typical Caesar parade. All the ingredients, great bands and beautiful costumes. The Columbos have outdone themselves. The crew costumes, they match the uh, the floats so beautifully. Massive, a great job on the floats. Uh, Shirley and Tony and, and the gang. The Cornices, you can see, put a lot of hours into this alone. They're great officers and everything, and it's just been another great parade. Jefferson Parish is very proud to be the home of the crew of season. And we've enjoyed the last 20 some odd years of uh, being with them. Yeah, and, very uh, special thank you to uh, all the fine people that do this. Uh, Treasure Chest Casino, American uh, bearing and supply, Crescent Distributing, and Enterprise rent a car for their support in sponsoring the uh, the crew of Caesar Parade tonight. So everyone will have their opportunity to to. And Jim, it's see been a pleasure parade. having you up here for the first time. Thank you, year. I appreciate it. You know, this is uh, pretty good. You You're like a big kid up here, aren't you? Well, not really, a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's great. Mardi Gras is a fun time. You saw all the happy people in the street tonight. And. Uh, what can I say? But uh, now you're on every morning on 92.3, and that's the point. Well, thank you for the plug. Yes, uh, I do mornings 5.30 to 10. Jim and the Twins, so make sure you tune in. And, of course, uh, uh, Ed Muniz, you've got your big uh, parade coming up next well, week. Well, yes, right. We have another. The Mardi Gras is just beginning and a long way to go, and uh, we're all looking forward to a healthy and happy and, you know, safe season. Yeah, be safe, everybody. Happy Mardi Gras. <laughs> 